Hi, I'm Laura, Patient Navigator, and I'm here today on behalf of your oncologist. During your consultation, your doctor had discussed treating your cancer with a chemotherapy that is one of FEC, FECT, FECTH, FECTHP, and FEC, followed by paclitaxel regimens. These are some of the most common chemotherapy regimens used to treat breast cancer. Please watch specific videos to learn when and how each of these regimens is administered. In this video, I want to explain side effects from these treatments and how to manage them. It is important to remember different medicines have different side effects for different people. You may not have every side effect related to each medicine of a combination therapy. Side effects generally fall under two types, less common but serious side effects and most common side effects. Less common but serious side effects. Heart problems. Your doctor will obtain a baseline echocardiogram to monitor your cardiac function before starting the treatment and periodically as necessary. Arrhythmias. You may experience persistent palpitations or heart racing. Lung toxicity. When FECTH and FECTHP are used, Herceptin drug in these combinations may also cause lung problems. Please call your doctor right away if you have a fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, shortness of breath, heart racing or palpitation, discomfort lying on your back, swelling of the ankles, cough, difficulty in breathing, persistent fatigue, or bleeding that does not stop. Most common side effects. Low red cell counts or anemia. If you get anemic, you may experience a lot of fatigue, palpitations, or increased heartbeat, and shortness of breath. If you have significant anemia, your doctor may give you blood transfusions. Low white blood cell counts. Your doctor may administer a GCSF medication 24 hours after these treatments to stimulate your bone marrow to prevent severe drop in your white cell count and thereby reduce chances of infection. Low platelet count. This may result in bleeding rather easily. Nausea and vomiting. This chemotherapy regimen can cause more severe forms of nausea. Your doctor will administer medications to mitigate this. There are two types of nausea vomiting with these regimens, immediate and delayed. Immediate nausea vomiting occurs within one to two hours of chemotherapy administration and can last for up to 24 hours. Delayed nausea vomiting presents more than 24 hours after chemotherapy administration and can last for up to five days. Delayed form can frequently occur with any of these regimens. To mitigate immediate nausea, your doctor administers anti-nausea medications through your vein before each chemotherapy. To treat delayed nausea, your doctor will give you an oral steroid like dexamethasone for a few days after each chemotherapy treatment. Your doctor may also prescribe a medicine called a prepotent orally to address delayed nausea. It is crucial that you take these medicines as instructed, as delayed nausea vomiting can be significant and cause dehydration and hospitalizations. These can be avoided by following your doctor's instructions adequately. For use as needed for vomiting, your doctor may prescribe other oral nausea medications like ondansetron, prochlorperazine, or promethazine. Dehydration from diarrhea or vomiting. If nausea and vomiting or diarrhea are uncontrolled or if you do not take care of them on time, you may get very dehydrated and experience symptoms of low fluid volume. Increase your fluid intake and immediately report to your doctor if you feel dizzy upon standing up or have reduced urine output or pass out, since it may indicate you may need to be evaluated right away and or need IV hydration. Neuropathy is most often caused by paclitaxel. Most commonly, you may experience tingling or numbness from neuropathy. When it gets severe, it may cause neuropathic pain and may cause trouble with your walking, buttoning your shirt, or handling a doorknob. You should report any of the above symptoms to your doctor so necessary action can be taken about the drug before neuropathy gets too severe. Liver injury. This may occur using combination therapy involving THP, and your doctor will monitor your liver functions routinely before each cycle. Bladder irritation. This is from cyclophosphamide in case of decreased fluid intake. 
It is very important to drink plenty of fluids and at least two to three liters of water each day during your treatment duration. Redness or blisters on the palms or soles of the feet. Ask your doctor to prescribe you creams to improve these symptoms. Dry skin or rashes. Apply moisturizing cream and avoid soaps, detergents, and creams with fragrance. Also, avoid products like sponges, bath scrubs, or loofahs. Diarrhea. Untreated diarrhea disrupts your treatment and lead to disease progression. Please call your doctor to get a prescription and follow their directions. If your diarrhea does not reduce after taking medication, please call your doctor's office right away. Loss of appetite, hair loss, dry eyes, mouth sores, body swelling, fatigue or weakness, joint pain, or menopausal symptoms as hot flashes. Call 911 immediately if you experience a medical emergency or if you have a persistent symptom. If you have additional questions, contact your doctor's office or you can always ask an oncologist in the Onco Power app. Thank you for watching. Feel free to replay this video as often as you would like to. Thank you and good luck.